When the Birmingham Education Foundation was looking for a place to have their annual career development conference, they didn't have to look far. The Harvard Center offers professional service, great food, and plenty of space to accommodate crowds of any size. This is our fourth year of working with the Harvard Center. Everyone loves it. Everyone feels welcome. And they keep coming back for one simple reason. It doesn't matter what your event is, it's going to go well, and they're going to make it run well, and they're going to make everyone feel welcome. I and mean, it's a terrific venue. A sentiment shared by Ken Jackson. Now, I've attended uh, meetings here that had 20 to 25 people for a lunch, and I've attended functions here that had over 400 people Regardless, the staff handles each event like it is their only event. As a Rotarian, he is at the Harbert Center frequently for lunch meetings, something that he looks forward to. The food is uh, varied and, uh, and quite good. Dining here every week, you would think that you might get tired of the food, but I actually look forward to their fried catfish. And I look forward to certain items that appear on the menu it's never boring, it's always good. For J.W. Carpenter, choosing this venue for any event is about more than the space and the food. Yeah, I think that the balance they strike, which is uh, I think a lot more delicate than people realize, is professional and welcoming. So obviously they have to be very professional, they have to be bulldogs about the detail, making sure that they've got a lot of moving parts, they've got tables, they've got rooms, they've got food, and then they've got a lot of different groups moving in and out of here during the day, often when we have conferences, but you, you never see them sweat. They've got smiles on their faces, they're welcoming you at all times, they're, they're making you feel like uh, you're a part of this institution and part of the team. I mean, it's why they are our choice uh, to hold our conferences. In Birmingham, Lillian Lalo, CBS 42.